Hi everybody, day nine of Steelers camps is officially in the books. Welcome to training camp wrap-up show presented by the UPMC Health Plan. I'm Missy Matthews upstairs with Craig Wolfley and we are going to go down on the field to be joined by Kendrick Green. And Kendrick, uh, you've had a very eventful past 24 hours starting with Friday Night Lights, catching a pass today. Take me through how the Steelers have been utilizing you. Um, you know, it's just something uh, the coaches kind of wanted to see, um, you know, and we're just kind of working on that. You know, I'm still, it's nothing too serious right now, but uh, still, you know, being the backup center right now and just, just working through that, uh, uh, with that as a side job, I guess you could say. So. <laughs> Kendrick, I'm looking at you, you are a fullback. No, a very full fullback, okay? That's <laughs> that's that's monster size. But the beautiful thing about it, brother, I digress in, in, in saying it, it's just a side job. When you came around the corner into that flat on the hide route, you caught the ball beautifully. You looked very comfortable catching running and I tell you there was a couple of guys you left in your wake I'm hey it's looking good buddy yeah man I just felt like I was you know back in uh back in the backyard with my brothers <laughs> you know so it was a good time when did you find out what you were going to be asked to do today at practice you even did some individuals with the tight ends and what running back group as well I uh, just want to you know if if and when I get the ball you know just want to uh, work on having that security you know coach Tomlin's biggest thing with uh, people who carry the ball is don't put it on the ground uh, he tells the running backs every day you know it's going to be a good day just don't put the ball on the ground and we'll, be, and we'll have a chance so you know that's kind of uh, what I was thinking and we're just working on ball security. KG one of the best parts about it was you started off on the Swiss ball that big balloon thing right you're on you almost squashed it bro I mean that thing almost went down and you spun off it great and you came through and I saw uh, coach Fredo trying to punch the ball out with that that uh, that hammer fist thing he's got yeah I think if I'd had an extra cheeseburger at lunch or something it probably would have <laughs> popped but uh, but we're, we're all good it's still intact so <laughs> What has it been like, the response? Your teammates seem to be very amped when they get a chance to see you in there, especially catching the ball. And the fans today, they were hooting and hollering for you. Uh, you know, it's a good feeling. Uh, but like I said, I kind of, I was kind of exhausted. So <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't really uh, paying too much mind to that all day. I was trying to, trying to not pass out and get my win. So, KG, one of the things that you obviously do so very well is playing center position. How has that been coming along for you? And what sort of things have you done to, mitigate whatever it is that you wanted to work on uh you know I think the biggest thing with me was just time you know and reps at the position uh you know when I was a rookie and I was starting at center I was kind of kind of green to it but uh you know now I feel a lot more comfortable you know just working with coach Isaac Williams uh every day before practice and once I'm done with you guys I'm about to go get some more work after practice so uh he's been great you know I did it all year with him last year when I was inactive and stuff and I'm just trying to you know Keep uh, keep chipping away every day and just get a little bit better each and every day. Now, I got to tell you, I'm going to let you in a little secret, KG. Towards the end of my career, I ran a little goal line tight end, and I never had the ball thrown to me. As a matter of fact, one time I split out, and I ran an out route, and Coach Noel said it was the slowest out route in the history of the NFL. <laughs> so, you think you can beat it. I think you can beat it. Just watching what you've done. I don't know, Craig. You seem like a top-tier athlete, so we'll see. <laughs> oh, he doth lie if I think, yes. <laughs> beautiful. But a beautiful part about it is, you know, as a guard, though, you have those trapping skills. When you go in motion from an H-back position, you have a ability to read, and you did blow up some people. People were searching for body parts after a couple of those collisions you had. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's kind of something I've done a lot, you know, especially in college, uh, you know, just – Pulling, basically, like basically pulling and you know trapping out a defensive end and stuff like that. Uh, something I've kind of been used to, so nothing, nothing too crazy. All right, Kendrick, we'll get you out here on this one. Uh, I know, as you said, a little tired going from Friday night lights and pads today and pads. One more practice tomorrow before the off day, but there is a game coming up. Do you start thinking about that and getting excited about going against a different team? Yeah, you know, uh, it's it's fun competing against our guys every day, but you know we're definitely excited to go to Tampa and uh, you know go against a different color and a different uh, logo on a helmet. So the guys are definitely ready for that, and we're excited. All right, thanks for your time. We'll let you uh, get back to work, as you said, with the assistant offensive line coach. Uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks so much. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. You bet you. Have him go run a couple go routes. There you go. I mean, he was running from the offensive line group over to the tight ends and the running backs. He was already getting some cardio in just he, during practice. He certainly was, Missy. You know, you got to love it because you got a 315-pound cheese whopper of a man <laughs> out there going after it. And he catches that ball, and he looked totally comfortable. He even spun off a tackle in this in this practice here 
you know, can you imagine those defensive backs having to come up and hit this guy? That's not fun. <laughs> That's not fun. We also saw Connor Hayward uh, taking a few reps with the running backs as well. So position flexibility seems to be the theme of today. It really is. And in today's modern era of football, finding a niche. Because here's the thing about KG. If you take a look at Baltimore Ravens, you got Patrick Ricard, the 300-pound mm-hmm. running back, if you want to call him that, would, would line up in various positions, do a lot of lead blocking stuff. It's a p- peculiar niche that he fulfills, and KG can fill that same sort of role. And again, for we've seen it with Connor Hayward, his ability to fulfill numerous roles in whatever he's called upon to do. He seems to say, you know, it's not that serious, it's just a side job, but you seem to think, and I felt like Mel- Max felt the same way, that this could be something more. There's no question, because if you take a look at what Ricard has done over the years, he'll get uh, 15 to 20 plays a game. But, you know, he might line up at a nose tackle. He might line up as an H-back. He might line up as a fullback. He can kick out from an H-back position, in-line tight end, take capture the, the edge setter on the line, or they can bring him in motion. He can be the trail guy when they pull both – Two, two men on a pin and pull series, or you can have lead ISO. And one of the things, the unique, very unique, that I've never seen anywhere else, you'll line him up at fullback, and he'll line up, with, he'll work with the center on a seal block instead of the backside guard. Release the guard straight up on the on, on somebody else, and he can come around. I'm telling you, the, the things that you can do are, are rather numerous, and the fact that he can catch the ball and run with the ball and make it look like it's comfortable, I don't know, I just, I like it. It's not a bad thing. <laughs> It's not a bad thing at all, no. (laughs) Another good thing to see today at practice, Minka Fitzpatrick is back with the Steelers. He was in pads, didn't do a ton of teamwork. Um, He did do some seven-on-seven, but when you have Minka Fitzpatrick out on the field, it just brings everybody's energy up a little bit. Well, there's no question about it. He's been uh, missing a little bit, and, uh, you know, whatever he's dealing with, you know, I'm sure that's – it's significant, and it's good to have them back in-house because there's no better place to be than surrounded by your buds, you know, by your teammates. And certainly the any, any sort of support is, is just great stuff. So you're back in the house, and you feel all is right. We saw a little bit of DeMonte KZ today. He's been dealing with that ankle injury. Keanu Neal did not practice today. Same with Jamarcus Bradley. Uh, so we'll get an update from Coach Tomlin when he speaks to the media later today. What else did you take away from practice today? Again, it's about the details. So you keep watching. Everybody's working on details. We're less than a week out from the first NFL action that these guys are going to see in a, in a Tomlinism stepping into a stadium. And some of the things you see is the, uh, George Pickens, right? Last couple days, he stepped out of the back end of the end zone he didn't make that mistake today caught mm-hmm. the ball high pointed got the, that toe tap down you take a look at Cole Holcomb last, last night you got a, a swing pass to the sidelines what's he do that ball is no more in the air he is eating up the grass in between he and that back so that as soon as that back caught the ball he was all over him like a cheap suit you know you take a look at now for for a guy like Broderick Jones one of the things he's got to work on when you set back in, in, in a, a vertical set and a guy takes a hard inside, you can't react by going head first. You got to step first. You go head first, you lock in your step, you can't move in to cut off the inside, and you get swum by somebody that shouldn't be able to swim you. So these are all details that guys got to work out and they're working with. Seven shots on Friday night went to the offense, but today the defense got the better end of the stick. And that's the way it should be. You know, you got one end of it. You, the offense comes off. They're doing great. They get the lobster. They get the cheese. I don't think they're want. doing that yet. No you're one, not, no one's confirmed it. Oh my heavens! You know what? I got to check that out because if I'm if I'm getting shortchanged here, I got I got to <laughs> you, know. You need to know. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, again, and if, if uh, the offense is always dominating, you got problems. But if you got offense one day, defense another day. That's the way you want it because it's iron sharpening iron. You keep that sword sharp, get it primed, ready to go in Tampa. Uh, Pads on Friday, pads today. Do you think tomorrow being the last day, no pads? Or it's family day, sometimes we see goal line. What do you anticipate? Well, you can only go a couple days in a row, I guess, in pads in today's modern era football. Everybody was talking about the quick turnaround from last night to this afternoon. Well, we had quick turnarounds back in the day. It was even a quicker turnaround from morning practice to afternoon (laughs) practice. All right? (laughs) So I got no pity for these guys. You know, God bless them. Keep working. I love what I'm seeing. We got growth going day by day. Keep it rolling. I know we talk about George Pickens a lot, rightfully so, but Deontay Johnson 
Deontay Johnson, excuse me, seems to just quietly be putting together a great camp and moving past the 2022 season. No question about it. I think the young man is emerging again as a primo wide receiver. He's got game brains now, meaning enough repetitions in his, in his gas tank that he can pull on those game brains. He's been through some series of issues where he's had problems with drops, where he's had problems where everyone's saying no touchdowns. Hey, Get him in Tampa, get him a score. Get a score, get that bugaboo out of the way, and let's get rolling in 2023. And I think just working with Kenny on a regular basis, not having that time with him last year. There's no question. you got a young buck who was feeling his way through, you know, was thrown into the mix of it, uh, hadn't had the big off season such as he's had. Now you got Kenny's corner. He studies all the time in the whole off season. been through the OTAs and the mini camps. Now we're in training camp. He's progressing day by day. And, you know, you get that mind meld. You know, you get that ESPN thing going on where they know what's happening with each other. And I look for more improvements and more from Deontay as he, they, he comes about and establishes his premiership as a wide receiver. All right, one more practice tomorrow on Sunday. That's going to do it for this edition of the Training Camp Wrap-Up Show presented by the UPMC Health Plan. Thanks so much for joining us. Have a great night, everybody.